Welcome everybody out there in the internet to episode 83 of Sip Sis, not Sips, <laughs> Sis and Big Pops Culture. Uh, hello everyone, as always, I am Big Pops Todd Turner and with me, the one, the only. Hi sweet friends, my name is Hannah Jo, aka Sis, and together we are an adult daughter and father duo. We dive into all things geek, nerd, and fandom. Every episode is family friendly. Everybody That's right. We are friendly and we're family. And yeah. I forgot to tell you, I'm also known as Mosaic Fan Art. Yeah, Dad. I have other monikers too, but yeah, I don't know. They don't matter. Hannah, tell everybody what we do here. Friends, welcome. Um, We are going to chat about our favorite things, nerd stuff today. Um, As always, we're going to discuss nerd news to us, stuff that we think is interesting or that the other person would enjoy. Um, We're going to share what we've been binging uh, whether that's media, any type of media, um, as well as Pops' pull list. If you don't know what that is, don't worry. Um, he shall share or I uh, what that is. And then we're reviewing two things today. We're reviewing the comic book Eve, um, which is a um, a Boom Studios comic. Mm-hmm. And we are reviewing um, the new charlie brown on apple tv apple plus whatever the hecky it's called um called welcome home franklin the little short film that they had there i think now they just call them peanuts peanuts okay sick i Love. don't know because charlie brown's not the main character charlie brown is the main character he's a yeah he's the main part of it so anyway we're gonna hop right into it with our nerd news to us go ahead do the typewriter People don't even have typewriters anymore. Can you set your computer to where, like, as you type, it makes typewriter noises? Because you um, can't phone. They have fancy computers that, you, like, fancy, like, clickety-clack keyboards that make sounds that oh, are, wow. like, upwards of hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. Well, our friend Sheila collects um, he typewriters, so I bet you she could do that. That's cool. Yeah, so a big nerd news announcement mm-hmm. right off the bat is Yay! that next week, starting on Thursday, our friend Dave in the chat just mentioned it. It is the Lexington Comic and Toy Convention, and uh, Mosaic Fan Art will have a booth there. Woo! And Hannah Joe will be there as well, and we'll be putting up some stuff and seeing all good peeps. It's going to be a blast. We're going to pass you come out by stuff. And, and you don't have a System Big Pops culture pin just ask for one and say hey i heard it on your podcast that if i asked i'd give you a pin and we will as long as i don't forget to bring them i'm really bad about that we'll we'll remember to bring them i'm gonna i'm gonna bring my both my t-shirts i'm trying to decide if i want to do a mabel cosplay or not oh okay like you did before yeah gotcha oh i'm going to walk around with a teapot on my head upside down so perfect We'll see how that we, goes. That is the plan for this next year is to do an over the garden wall themed um, ensemble. Well, listen, um, I got us invited to Luke and Asia's over the garden wall watch party. So, yes. And I should have new stickers we could take and give away yes. at the watch party. So. Anyway, rock, that's the nerd, main nerd rock, news. Rock. Let's hop in and say what else yes. you got. Hannah, do you okay. want to go or do you want me yes, to go? Yes, I do. Go. Have you watched the Borderlands trailer? Okay. I did what is borderlands i Hannah? have no idea i think it's a video game i literally just wrote guardians of the galaxy 3 meets suic- the suicide squad <laughs> i i know absolutely nothing about it and i know that i'm going to catch such heat for having no clue what it is um the uh, it's uh, jamie lee curtis is in it and uh, Kate Blanchett and Kevin Hart and Jack Black is the little robot guy. Like, okay, so it is a star studded cl- cast. Yeah, it is an action role playing first person looter shooter video game franchise set in a space western science fantasy setting. How many space western space science, western fantasy. science fantasy. fantasy? That's hilarious. That's so funny. It does look fun. What did you think? I'm going to watch it. It's bonkers, though. I don't know it how. Looks, that's what I'm saying. It's Guardians meets the Suicide Squad meets Deadpool. I see. I'm not. I don't. I'm not invested in any of the characters, so I don't Who know. Cares? It'll be fun. Yeah, but see, I, a lot of people. I think that you had to go into the D and D movie that way too. But I didn't like the D and D movie. I really liked the D and D movie and thought it was very fun. 
I didn't like what's his face's character. Yeah, you weren't supposed to. Well, they succeeded. You were but supposed you were, to you, you're strongly not suppo- dislike him. You didn't you, like it because he messed up the daddy daughter family. Thing don't like that and at all. It made you angry. I, it's automatically, not that you disliked the movie. It's click. That, that plot line made you angry. Yep. And you know, you want to make it to where I don't like him, but you don't want to make it to where I turn it off. You didn't watch it. No, I f- wouldn't finish it. Oh, it was so good. The, there are parts of it that was just very, very funny. Mm-hmm. Like the like the NPC. Okay, I got you. Yeah. Like the no, there was what, like it was explain a to everybody NPC. what that stands for. It was uh, what's a NPC character. Okay, got you. Um, but it was it was like when, like the dungeon master knows that this that your group is going to need a friend. Oh yeah, and um, then they throw something that like in. helps you, and so they throw someone in there that's like better than you at like everything, but you get them for like a second, and then they disappear forever. All right, never so, to be seen again. And they, so there are a they, lot of like funny things like that, like attuning yourself to like sometimes if you in Dungeons and Dragons, if you want to like wear a helmet or something like that, you have to attune to an item. Hi, mom. Um, you have to attune to an item and it like takes time. Uh-huh. And so this guy was taking like ages to attune to it. It was it's very good. The okay. like uh some of the spell casting was hysterical. All right. So it you got good. okay, and Dave in the chat said it as well so i'm gonna have to i guess you're gonna have to yeah finish it just it, it has a good ending push I think through it pinky promise i know i know it, it has it, a good the ending. whole ending is family i know it's all, all about right. family in the end dad well speaking of family yes um comics first family oh <gasps> i have news about this too I oh well, first so even moss Bacharach was on the jimmy kimmel show mm, who is and, the director no, he is playing Ben Grimm. Oh, fun. The Thing, which is also cool because he is Jewish and Ben Grimm is Jewish. So he's That's the really first cool. time that the character will be played by, by a Jewish, Jewish character. However. That's awesome. Um, so he he won a, uh, a Emmy. Okay. No, wait. That's not the one for singing, is it? Tony? Grammy? No. No, Emmy. Yeah, an Emmy for... The Bear, the TV show The Bear, which I've yeah. not watched, but Nathan likes it. He said I probably wouldn't like it, but it's but Emmy anyway. is not for singing. Emmy is for TV shows. I know. I can remember. <laughs> Thank you for and that's why we're in this <laughs> to learn. We're here to educate, educate <laughs> each other. So um he was on Jimmy Kimmel because of that. And then Jimmy Kimmel, of course, asked him about the Fantastic Four. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And um he asked him, he said, uh, Jimmy Kimmel's like, so do you know what the movie is going to be about? He goes, I know these are Marvel movies and you can't really say anything. And he goes, I've read the script. And Jimmy Kimmel's like, Oh no, man, that's so awesome. You know, he wouldn't hint on it, but he showed the picture because at Valentine's day, they, they posted put out it and a I poster. sent you, I sent you a yeah. picture of it yeah. on Instagram. You and about eight other people. Well, I, this is because but we you all were love first. you and know you. I, I know you were the first. <laughs> So he said, he said, this surely looks like it's set in the sixties. And he goes, it sure does look that way. Doesn't it? You know, but so That's what I'd I already down that people think it will be set in the sixties. Did I not say that? You did. You Ages ago. It. I said that. Um, Here's what fun- I hope. I hope it has nothing to do with the MCU. It won't. I hope, I hope this that is going to happen. Do a thing be- that happened in the sixties and they don't try to bring them back. And if they oh, no, they'll sequel, come back set in the sixties. They'll come back. Ah, uh, they'll come back because um, I've got, I've got fan theories right now and then I will share. Okay. I don't know if it's going to be true or not, but this is my fan theories. But so go. anyway, um, he, he, he said, so have you met everyone? He goes, no, I, I've, I've met, I haven't met Vanessa Kirby he said he had, she had, he hadn't met her. He said, but, uh, Pedro's, uh, yesterday or day before yesterday, some started a group text. So they have a group text. That's the cutest. <laughs> And he said, and, and everyone's chimed in. They've put gifts and stickers and stuff like that. So and I sweet. said, so I think it's serious. He said, so yeah. And it's all going to be motion capture, pretty much like, um, uh, pretty much like, uh, you know, how they did the Hulk and everything like that. Mm-hmm. So, so you ready for my fan theory? Go. Okay. So, you know, Marvel is done with Jonathan Majors. Yes. Who is Kang. Yes. Who's supposed to be the the big bad of whatever this next thing is? 
correct, Kang Dynasty. Well, they are minimizing his role in this now. Yes. Uh, and rumor is, is that they're going to change the name. It's not even going to be called Avengers Kang Dynasty anymore. Okay. So I believe it's, I believe they're going to bring in Doom. Oh, really? So my, okay. here's my belief. We'll see if I'm right. Just mark it down. Okay. Um, I believe that Doom will get a cameo in the teaser at the end of the movie in the credits. Okay. And then I believe Doom will be integral, if not the main behind the scene antagonist in Black Panther 3. Okay. And then set him up as the big bad for um, everything else. Are they going to bring back Vision and Wanda? Okay, so they are going ahead with a Wanda movie. So I don't know what that okay. vision's not gone, right? Wanda's supposedly dead. Who She's knows? not dead. That was terrible. LOL. That, that was an awful. That was. I know. They didn't. They didn't. Mm. They nerfed. They killed. They the, did. They didn't have any knowledge of the plot of WandaVision when they were doing that. Yeah. Film. Oh, really? They didn't have. They had no knowledge of the plot of WandaVision. Oh wow. Well, I thought that they integrated it fairly well. They integrated <laughs> it well. Mistake. It was all about losing your children. Ma. I can I have and I have to imagine that her children will be real at one point because they're integral in the young Avengers yep. and that they're going ahead with that too. So who knows? I don't know. Anyway, what else you got? I know, Hannah? I know. Can I just say that I know that Doom is connected to Wanda and Vision because of a comic book that we read when we were still recording this upstairs in the attic when I lived with you it wasn't and Doom. mom. During, that was Magneto. Aww. I felt really good about that choice. It wasn't. <laughs> no. no. Yeah, close. It was Magneto. Aww, I'm embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed. Okay. They're both probably the two best villains in Marvel yeah. comics. Well, in the Green Goblin. Well, I don't know. That would the, be a good one. They can't do Magneto after best? Patrick Stewart and Sir Ian McKellen. Like, what are they going to? Well, they've already had somebody else play um, uh, Magneto. And because he was young, Ian yeah. McKellen. He was young, Ian McKellen. That's funny. <laughs> so, so mm, yeah. All right. Um, well, what else okay. you got? Um, ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Ryan Gosling is set to okay. perform I'm Just Ken at the Oscars. Really? So yes. I never saw Barbie. It was fine. It wasn't Nathan great. Nathan said, our son, Nathan, your brother, thought yes. that Ryan Gosling was the best part of that movie. He was the best part of that movie. A hundred percent. He was the funniest. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be and great. He can sing too. We all know that from La La Land. So we know that he can sing, which I really like. I like that movie. I wish it had a different ending. I wish they ended I up together. I think you're supposed to want that. I know. I agree. Because it wasn't terrible. They both still were. They were both had good lives. They both got their dreams. Yes. But their dream ended up not being with the, the same person. It know, became. It was a we. We let down each other. Is what that, that cool. movie was about. Well, I don't like that. Well, they did. They let each other down. Okay. Happens. It does happen. Um, so, up, 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 up. I've got two more pieces. I got two more pieces. You go first. So, did you eat at McDonald's ever? Uh, n no. Me neither. I never eat at McDonald's. But my girls that I work with, they, my girls, that's, that sounds pretty sexist. That doesn't sound sexist at all. You work with lovely women that you care for. I don't know if they're lovely. I don't really care about them either. That's kidding. I'm just You're kidding. They, full they of nonsense like on both so, of those accounts. I know. They're great people. They're I love them all. You're right. human beings. So they go to McDonald's. Okay, right? love. Yeah. So their cups today, the, Mc, the M was upside down. And we were trying to figure out what the heck this was all about. Wick Donald's. And we thought, well, maybe it had to do with, you know, March being like a women's month because usually yeah. and um, and and I was totally cool with that. I was like, yeah, that makes sense. That's cool. And then I went and looked it up. It has nothing to do with women. What does it have to do with? So, you know, I'm not a big anime guy. No. Um, But I appreciate it. And there are a lot of people who do. So apparently mm -hmm. there are a bunch of animes that in order to not get sued by McDonald's, when they put them in their anime, they, they do call a W. It McDonald's. <laughs> so, yes. So yes. McDonald's has completely embraced this. As they should. And are now putting out 
starting yesterday, weekly anime shorts about getting to McDonald's, Wick Donald's, going to Wick Donald's. So every week there's a new short coming out. They're like only like 30, 40 seconds. And it's, it's like, what if Dragon Ball Z and One Piece had to fight to get to McDonald's to get a chicken nugget? I mean, that's pretty much, it's like, it's like an explosion. <laughs> that's and iconic, run. actually. Okay. And they've taken it so far that they are opening a Wick Donald's no. in LA for a limited time, which is a fully immersive anime experience. Yes. And like, you're going to have to make reservations to go there. And I believe that, um, uh, that um reservations open on open table in like a week oh my goodness yeah and it's, that's so cool i know i thought it was fun so i looked it up on youtube and i watched the first little short it and it, it was i mean it's anime i mean it's that's like so people yelling McDonald's. and big explosions <laughs> yeah i thought it was a great idea Naruto um, run. yeah yeah that's so funny because they do because i read um webtoons there's a webtoons that i used to read called just play or uh -huh. like let's play or something and it was about a video game designer um and they had the they fake had, mcdonald's or a fake, fake thing mcdonald's and like i wonder if it was wick donald's like and stuff. yeah probably it was hysterical. Isn't that hilarious it's yeah so funny so clever what else you got um did you see the roadhouse trailer with jake gyllenhaal i did doesn't that look gnarly so did you know this is a remake right i didn't and then I talked to Trevin about it. And Patrick he was like, Swayze. Roadhouse. And I was like, oh. And then I felt silly again. Um, no. But don't feel silly. It looks I, great. It looks so fun. I know. I'm like, I would go see this. I want to go see it. It looks brutal. Yeah. Absolutely brutal. And the fight, like, I, there was an interview that I read about. Okay, that guy, that's Jake. that's the, that's a real, that's a real MMA fighter. Yeah. Is it Conor McGregor? Uh... I don't know the answer to that one. Dad. I don't know it either. I'll look it up while you talk about it. But I was, I was, so yeah, I was listening. I didn't listen. I read an interview with Jake Gyllenhaal talking about um, the like fights that he had to learn and that they were like the most difficult, most brutal fights that that will ever be in a film. Conor McGregor. Oh, I was right. Cool. Real, real McCoy right yeah, there. He's, he's hardcore. Yeah. And I fun. think, I think one of the bad guys is, um, was the Green Power Ranger in the Power Rangers movie? Oh, I don't know. I didn't watch any of that. Did you not watch it? Nope. I thought we watched. I thought we I, used it. I, I, am, I can make your hands clap. I've that, never that watched song, a Power Ranger that anything. That song was in the Power Rangers. <laughs> that's, Power Rangers with. that's I don't know. It wasn't me. I've never watched them. It was the new movie. Well, that's fine. That's cool. But I've never seen it. Billy McGusson. Is that I'm trying to see. that looks that guy looks familiar, but I don't know who he is. Yeah. I'm trying to see what he was in. Because I thought that he was in. No, he it looks like he oh, that's what it was. He was the bad guy in Spark Kids Spy Kids Armageddon. That's why. The bad guy in Roadhouse was the bad Wait, guy in the Spy Kids. The terrible movie, movie that we just watched. We... Oh my gosh, he is. I had to look. Everybody, I just turned around and looked. Oh my gosh, he is. Oh <laughs> gosh. Hope he acts better in this. Yeah. So I'm not well. That's I'm hilarious. Well. Um, here's my last bit of news. Okay. So um Todd McFarlane. Do you know who Todd McFarlane is? Uh no. Oh, you'll know who he is. Okay. He's the creator of uh Spawn. Oh, Trevin. He's the yeah. artist creator of Spawn. He pretty much created Venom. He did cool. he drew Spider Man. He did a huge run on Spider Man. He did um yeah. So uh and he left to create image comics. He yes. left Marvel. Okay. So there was an interview with him recently and it talked about some of the main reasons he left Marvel. And one of them was he was drawing an issue of X Force, which was the Rob Liefeld book. He and yeah. Rob Liefeld, they had similar styles back then. And he and he, they showed the panels of what got him in trouble. It was Shatterstar, who is Rusty. Remember on Deadpool 2? I'm Rusty. What's your yes. superhero? I'm an alien. I'm pretty much better than everything you are. You know what I mean? Talk about. Yeah. So the Shatterstar character takes a sword and stabs Juggernaut in the eye. Okay. So 
he gets like like five editors call him immediately and they're like, you can't do this. And he goes, what do you mean you can't do this? You cannot stab a person because of the comics code. And he's like, I'm looking at a copy of Frank Miller's Electra and Bullseye stabs her right in the chest. And he goes, yes, but you can't stab anybody in the eye. Because of the old comics code, you couldn't stab people in the eye because that was something that a torture device that was made illegal by Frederick Wortham in the book Man. Seduction of the Innocent, which I have if anybody would like to read it. Interesting. So, yeah. And that was part of the reason why he left. He was like, well, I don't even know. I don't even know what the code is. Nobody's giving me a copy of the code. The comics code now is useless. But that was created back when everybody well, thought comic books were leading to juvenile delinquency. Yeah. Uh, I That movie about the biopic <laughs> about the, the guy that created Wonder Woman. Oh, was yeah. Like Wilden. He was wild in the streets. Oh yeah, I haven't seen that, but Dude, I know about it. He's wilding in the streets. Yeah, he's a little bit he, very he open-minded. He's having a good time. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, maybe if they'd have let him stab Juggernaut in the eyeball, we wouldn't have never gotten Spawn. Who knows? Well, hey, Image Comics rocks. They, they have rock. some of my favorite comics. I don't think I have an Image one today, though. High oh, key. I do. I do have I was an Image. Say, on my I list. bet it's either your book of the week, your new number one, or your independent. I have an image, image and a Dark Horse. Um, and Moana 2. I'm just excited about that. I just need Moana to 2? that Moana 2 is coming out in November. Oh, I didn't even know anything about him. Did you not 2. Moana 2 in November? What's she doing now? Uh, at a different island, I guess, and <laughs> saving the world again. Okay. Is The Rock going to be in it again? Uh, I don't know. And I don't think Lynn Mel Miranda is doing the music for it. So oh, well, then. who knows if it's going to yeah, be good? Who knows? I hope it is because the rock is was back such... into wrestling. Good for him. He's a heel. He's a bad guy. Okay. Yeah. The rock All right. The... Okay. Interesting. So that's it for news to us. There's Ooh, plenty whoa. of more news out there, but that's all I wanted to talk about. This so. is what we care about. That's what we care about. And it's our podcast. So we get to choose. <laughs> it's the only reason we do it just so we could talk about nerd stuff. So <laughs> Hannah. Yes. What are you binging? And I know I'm going to forget some stuff and have to come back later. Same. So just let me go. Just Big go. Same. Big same. Um, okay, so we finished Reacher, and I was right on all of the things that I told you I thought was going to happen. I know. If you guys was... want to watch Reacher is on Amazon, it is M for Mature. Yes. Um, for a reason. And, and we went back and rewatched season one. Okay. And yeah, season one again. was good, too. Yeah. Um, so, still... but before you go any further. Yeah. Did you want to talk more about Reacher? No. Okay, so I saw Ordinary Angels. Okay. Which What's... he stars in. Alan Richardson stars in. Did not okay. know that this took place because it's based on a true story about a little girl who needs a liver transplant. Aww. And um, I did not know it took place in Kentucky. That's it so takes cool. place in Louisville. And um, it was really good. It is not going to win awards for the acting. Um, Fair. But the story was great. And it's a true story about a little girl and whose mom passes and then she needs a liver transplant and they are so far in debt because of hospital bills. And what happens is a hairdresser just off the street goes to the mom's funeral and decides I'm going to help this family out. And the only way I know how, That's so, so cool. she works at helping raise money and getting airplanes, helicopters, the whole works just um, and it's really, I, it was a really good movie. I really enjoyed it. So if you want a feel good movie, go see it. It's PG, I think maybe PG 13. I don't know. Yeah. I didn't pay attention. But Did you see what Dave said? Yeah. That happened at his church. So he That's must so go cool. to Southeast Christian because at one part, and this is a true story. This is during the uh, mid nineties. There was a huge uh, snowstorm here that shut down all the highways and the helicopter could not land because they didn't have a place to land to pick up this little girl. So Southeast Christian said, you can come use our parking lot, but we need people to shovel it. And, and then the, everyone showed up and shoveled. The pastor said there was nobody there. And then he looked out and then there was a hundred people there with shovels. Oh, I would just be crying. I know. So it was really I would sweet. just be crying. Mm-hmm. So, uh, uh, yeah, that's so cool. Yeah. Um, that's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. That's so what else you got? Thing. Um, parks and recreation. We've been watching that still. Did you um, see the commercial with, uh, Aubrey Plaza and, oh, what's his face? Chris the grumpy Pratt? guy, the grumpy oh, guy. Ron. 
Yeah. Ron Swanson. That's not yeah. his name. No. But um, it is. I'll remember it in a second. Or somebody will chime in on the chat. But uh, yeah. So did you see that the Super Bowl no. commercial where they were riding dragons like in. That's hysterical. Uh, anyway, go ahead. Parks and Rec. They, yeah. We have. That's been our just like go to throw on the TV mm-hmm. show here recently. Um, very fun. Um, I'm enjoying it. Um, we watched the Lego movie. Oh, um, the first one. So the good. The first one. Iconic. Um, Trevin has not, Trevin didn't know that there was a Lego movie too. He didn't know I, about the Lego movie too. I liked and it as well. He's never seen Lego Batman, which is also iconic. Lego <laughs> Batman is so good. Darkness. It is dark. No, no parents. parents. <laughs> the opposite of flight. <laughs> it's <just> very good. <laughs> um, I also am almost done with the foundation. I'm on the last episode. Of which um, season, series? The last series, last season. Yeah, season two. I haven't finished it. I like it. So I should I go back have, and watch it, and then we can talk n- about it. I don't have any nostalgia for it. I'll finish it, and then we can talk about it. Okay. okay. I'm yeah. I'm really enjoying it. Okay. The thing that so I'm foundation lo- for everybody that is on Apple Plus yes, TV, Apple whatever the heck TV, it is, whatever the heck that is. Mm-hmm. What do you own, Park and Rex? You own Park and Rex. I own Park and Rex. Um, mm-hmm. it's on. It's probably on. I don't know when it's on. Uh, but Who knows? Trevin got the DVDs for Christmas from you right. off. Her present. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. The thing that I'm loving right okay. now is okay. So it's it's from a company called Graphic Audio, and it's a bad name. What it is is it's dramatized audio of a book, okay. and so what they do is they get a whole cast, and they have people act out the lines of the book where there's like sound effects based on what's happening and there's music that's happening behind Mm -hmm. it. And it's wonderful. And I'm obsessed with it. But you can't say it because the name's a bad name. No, it's just, it's called graphic audio, which I think is kind of icky. I think I thought you said that the name of it was a bad name. (laughs) No, it's called graphic audio. And that's like, yeah, that's the the people that are in charge of it. It's called graphic audio. It's like a dramatized uh, version of like books. Um, they don't do all books. Um, the ones that I'm listening to right now are Sarah J. Mass. Um, she's very, very famous in the the book Instagram world. Um, hmm. and I'm loving them. They are so fun. Um, I would not recommend it as a first encounter with books. Um, okay, because. I don't, yeah, it, to me, it's a very interesting way to experience it in a different, um, a different medium. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Makes sense. I get um, it. Um, but I don't think I would ever enjoy that being the way that I encounter a book for the first time. Well, I think most people encounter a book by picking it up. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. So like read it. And then if mm-hmm. you enjoyed it, um, you can download it off then of do that. Libby or Hoopla. Um, you can pay for it. I Googled how much it was to cost it to cost it i can't speak english words today um to pay for, to it. Pay for it there it is um and it was like 250 bucks gotcha. for four books all right which is more than i am willing to pay yeah, i'm for not doing it. that either yep yeah. but yeah isn't that so cool have you heard that of that before fun. no but it makes sense isn't i mean that's so interesting i still love the hobbit it's probably my favorite the the narration for the hobbit the narration for The Hobbit is good. I wonder if, yeah, I'm trying to see like what other media they do this like graphic audio for. And The Hobbit would be sick if they did The Hobbit. Yeah, the, not the oh, terrible movies. But the but oin, the book. gloin. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All the different, all the different like characters, like having mm-hmm. different sa- like voices. Well, the dude that I listen to, he does a different voice for each one of them. And it's one guy. But it's different. So this is a different way to engage in audiobooks. So you can you can listen to the regular audiobooks. Yeah. But you can also listen to the graphic audio of the audiobooks. All right. That sounds fun. I might yeah, I might have to do that. It's cool. I don't know what they have, what they have, the different like what books they have available. I would recommend contacting your local library or getting on Libby or hoopla to see what they have and then going from there well all right then um and i'm certain that there's other things that you've been uh, watching that i've been (laughs) watching i'm still doing my Mm -hmm. yoga that i'm enjoying Mm -hmm. um i listened to a book for work called the seven principles of making marriage work 
That sounds like something that your mom and dad would pay you to read as a kid. You, do you think as a as a teenager no, you'd no. pay for me to read the seven principles not. of making marriage work? <laughs> we would not. Um, but yeah, it was for it was just a book to help mm-hmm. me be a better therapist. And so I read that. Awesome. But yeah, I um am watching Dune again. Woo! I love it. I again watched Fishu Story. <laughs> and if anybody wants the link, I can give you the link so you can watch it for free. It's in an internet archive, so. It's not illegally downloading or anything like that because it is great movie. Don't listen to Hannah. So I'm not. No, I know. Mm-hmm. I know. I'm kidding. I, I am. It's glad not for your you to movie. Enjoy it. It's not my favorite movie. Will I sit down and watch it with you? Yes. Have I done it multiple times? Yes. There you go. I've seen um, a movie at least twice. Okay. There you go. <laughs> you like it. I do. I love it. It's I a love punk you. rock song. Watch it with you. Saves the world from a comic yeah, as collision. As it should. Absolutely. Um, I've rewatched the One Piece live action. <laughs> so a good. good one. N- and currently, believe it or not, your mom and I are watching Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Mm. Trevin and I started watching the DVD because I have the DVD because I wanted to watch the TV show, but Trevin had, didn't have any context of what you don't the need any movie was. Okay. Don't need it at all. Okay. Scrap that. Just watch the show. So the show is for adults. It is on Amazon Prime. I think there are eight episodes. We are on episode four. It I've is, heard that Donald Glover's style is impeccable in it. It's it's fun. It's good. And the his the the lady Maya Erskine, who plays Jane Smith, mm. is so good in it too. Is she just so, sharp? Yeah. So she's Asian, and. Cool. And of course, you know, Don Glover is black. So um, uh, it's just so fun. It's different than the first uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, the movie. Yeah. Um, you know, just a white couple living in suburbia and neither one of them knew what they were either one was doing until yeah. the one had to knock each other off. Yeah. Not so. These two people were li- are literally paired together by the company to okay. work together. As and, and they're told to get married? They don't, they're not actually married. They, oh. they're, they are married as their cover. front, their cover. Right. So they have a house car. They have, yeah. And they are John and Jane Smith. So and very keeping up with the Joneses. I don't know what that is. Keeping up with the Joneses was a movie that came out in 2016 with Gal Gadot. I never saw and it. And you didn't watch it? No. Oh, it's funny. I'm trying to but figure out this, Zach Galifianakis, Isla Fisher, John Hamm, and this is Alcadillo. this does have humor in it, but it's it's pretty serious sometimes too. Yeah. So you know, okay, I'll, I I do want to watch it. Mr. Yeah. and Mrs. Smith is one of the seventeen DVDs that I own. Oh, that's right. Don't don't look. Don't don't blink. Don't blink. Don't blink. Don't even blink. That's a Doctor Who reference for those of you who don't know. Why? I mean, you just one eye open at all times. Um, I, can't, I can't close this eye. So, yeah. So I think your mom and I are in episode four. Every That's once in a while, so we'll just fun. then we'll watch another episode. And it's because they're about an hour long. And yeah, yeah we've been enjoying it. That's a that blast. Was it. Fun. Let's do your pull list, dad. Oh, OK. So this is Pop's pull list. This is a Woo. list where I tell you the books that I have chosen to give you info on um for this week um and it may be from the last couple weeks or whatever but i try to pull one from uh, dc one from marvel one from an independent a new number one in a book of the week so um, trevin gave me a couple comic books over the past couple of days what did he give you um i got um this total party killer Oh, I did see that there. By Scout Comics. It. Yeah, Scout Comics. They have some little crazy ones. But I heard that one. That was pretty fun. What else did you get? And um, Lilo and Stitch that Paulo ate the bag of. Oh, yeah. That's Dynamite put out Lilo, Lilo and Stitch. Lilo and Stitch. Yeah, because they're doing live action, Lilo and Stitch. Okay. I hope Stitch doesn't. I hope it's good. Um, I mean, I'm. who knows? Who knows? Here's the thing. That Lilo and Stitch TV show was good. 
There was uh, Lilo and Stitch has a much bigger following than I even realized. Lilo and Stitch has a huge following. There are people that are obsessed with Stitch. Marianne is one of them. Oh my yeah, dear that's sweet right. Friend I remember that. Loves Stitch. That's hilarious. So um, my first book is Batman. It's from DC. So I'm going to do Batman's issue 142, 143, 144. They Wait, put one, Batman out. 142 to what? 143, 144. Three in a row. They put Batman out weekly for three weeks. Holy crap. And it is Joker year one. Ooh. So something, there's like a Joker virus that. You told me about this. That when people laugh. They get this, they become basically become the Joker and it's, it's bounces back and forth between when the Joker became the Joker through the red hood gang and what's going on now. And it has two different artists. So it's really cool. It's gorgeous in some parts. Um, so I thought this was going to clear a lot up, a lot of stuff up about there's the thing going around that there are three different Jokers and I'm still Didn't lost. Clear anything? It did for a minute and then it didn't. Interesting. So do you remember me telling you about Batman's alter ego where he trained yes. himself to have an alter ego? Yes. In case he was ever attacked by, a, you know. Yes. And we thought by, that that was a bad idea. So the same person that trained Bruce Wayne to do that trained, trained the, Joker. the Joker to do that. But the thing about the Joker is. The Joker is able to choose which one he wants when he wants them. So they show him having three different personalities. The clown, the murderer, the something, I don't know, something else, whatever. And Spooky. not smart. Like what who makes you but anyway. The yeah, book's I don't really good. good. Um I, I'm my the I don't I still don't know if I like it or not, but it, it was it's worth reading. So Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Right um on. My Marvel book is Captain America issue six. This ends the first story arc of the new Captain America run um, with uh, Captain America basically having to destroy this demon like creature and um, Dr. Strange is involved. I, I just put that on there because um, the new creator took over and there was a lot of, Oh, is this going to be okay? Is it not going to be okay? And some people jumped off the, the, Captain America wagon, but I thought it was mm. really good. Awesome. Um, it also jumps back between when he first gets his before he gets his powers. Okay. You know, during World War II or whatever, and um now and him being a landlord and everything, trying to take care of his new tenants and um, but it it was really good. It had a good wrap That's up cool. and the next story arc's gonna start next um next issue. Um so my independent book is an image book. Called it um, by the Skybound imprint called Firepower Issue 30. And it is the end Firepower? of the series. Mm -hmm. It's the end of the series I've talked about before. It's created by Robert Kirkman, the guy who created Invincible mm. which is a, and The Walking Dead. Mm. And it's drawn by Chris Samney, the guy who he and his wife did, Jonna and the Unstoppable. And the Unstoppable Monsters. Yeah. Interesting. And this is about a Kung Fu family who gets a power of the of fire to destroy this dragon that destroyed the world and um, that ends on a really good note. It was sort of like, oh, we could do another one. Um, and uh, yeah, it was a great story. Now That's it's awesome. completed. So somebody can go out there and read it if you want. Woo. Think they'll make it into a trade? <clears throat> oh, absolutely. It's already in one trade. So they'll probably do multiples. Gotcha. Okay. So an omnibus. Could two? be. Omnibus would be all in together with whatever extra material they have. Yeah. So my omnibus. My um new number one is a oversized book. So it's okay. like magazine size. It is if you find this, I'm already dead. From Dark Horse. So you remember on um it's the expanse. When uh -huh. the thing exploded and they had portals to all these different lands, different worlds or whatever. Yeah. So what happens is in the sky by the moon or whatever, something like that happens. There's a portal just pops up. 
So military would will go in and have established a base on a planet on the other side. Mm. So what they're doing is they're taking a civilian reporter, an embedded reporter with them on the first trip on this, not the first trip. Oh, but, so if you found this, something so she's writing, happened. if you found this, I'm already dead. So she basically lands with her crew and it's like, it's like live, die, repeat. They oh, all get no. wiped out. They all get wiped out, but her Aww, on this planet girly. and it's things overrun and she's now underground on this alien planet with aliens and that's where it leaves us. Dang. So um, I will probably continue to get this. I just picked it up because it's got uh, the guy who draws it. Matt Kent um, is a great writer and I thought I'd give it a shot. I liked it. That's awesome. All right, so, um, oversized books. Um, Wonder Woman Dead Earth was an oversized book. Correct. Absolutely. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that size. Magazine size. Okay. Like a Rolling Stone size. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Just for um, people that didn't know what yeah. a there you go. book is. Mm-hmm. So my book, book of the week. week is the book of the week. So this is totally, uh, I never thought I would pick this. So this is Act- Action Comics. Okay. Number 1062. You talked about Action Comics 161 last week. I did. It's so much better. So Bizarro has pretty much. So Superman is most susceptible to magic. Okay. So Bizarro is the opposite of Superman. Okay. So he control he went wiped out all these magic people and now he controls magic for the most Uh-oh. part. And he has infected everyone on the planet. With magic? They're all turning into bizarros. Oh, man. yeah, it's really bad. And Superman, and it's like spread from Metropolis, and and Batman was in this trying to keep it from getting to Gotham. Well, now Batman's infected, so Gotham's infected. So all these people have become the opposite of who they are. So Superman now has to go to the only person left who is now the most sane person on the planet. Oh, and it's Joker. It's the Joker. New in. Yeah. So the, he and the Joker are going to try to, uh, to uh, try to <laughs> fight a uh, bizarro. This is by Jason Aaron is the writer who yeah. used to be exclusively with Marvel. And um, now he's at DC and, and if I'm not mistaken, I think he's going to be writing like a, I don't know, like a weird, like a, Sonic the Hedgehog or something goofy soon. I don't know. But anyway, uh, Action Comics, it's fantastic. Everybody should be reading Action Comics. And here's the deal. It doesn't sell great. So you odds are you could come back and get both of these at, at the regular price. Anyway, there you go. hey mm. All right. Hannah. Yes. Let's talk about the new Peanut special on, yeah. on uh, Franklin. Apple TV. It's like 35 to 40 minutes long. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and um, for those of you who don't know, Franklin was the first character of color introduced into the peanut strip by Charles <laughs> Schultz. I don't know exactly when that happened. Um, they met on the beach. No, I don't know when he was. I don't like, know when it happened real... either. But that's how they were introduced to one another. They on they this. met and they played on the beach. Yes. No, so even in the like original. Explain comic. what this is. Oh, it really in the original comic. That's mm-hmm. what happened in the original comic strip. They met and played on the beach. For so serious. Was, yeah. So that was an homage to the OG comic strip. So give a lowdown. Give us a lowdown yeah, on what this so is about. So welcome home, Franklin. Franklin is um, a young man whose parent is in the military. I think it's his dad is in the military. And so yes, they his move dad. a lot. Mm-hmm. And his grandpa made for him a, a journal or a list of different ways that you can make friends. And so yes. he carries his, his journal with his grandpa. Um, grandpa's knowledge around um, once they moved to this town and y'all know the peanuts characters everyone is um, eccentric and interesting and so he attempts to make friends and attempts to make friends to no avail um, meeting Linus and then Lucy um, and Pig then Pin. who names are Pig Pig Pin? he was like yeah. like, like and he's having like, really? a hard time and then becomes partners with charlie brown when um a, a race 
Yes, they have to make like a soapbox race to make yeah to go down the hill, and no one wants to be Charlie Brown's partner. No one wants to be Charlie Brown's partner because it's Charlie Brown. And uh, so he and Linus, or he and Linus, he and Franklin Franklin team up to make this uh, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. car to go. Yeah, Mm -hmm. and um, so this was sweet. It was honestly very tender, and it was. I was ready for it to be super lame. It was not. And it was not. It was really tender. It has some great lessons for some little kids in there. I loved it when he said, uh, Charlie Brown goes, uh, uh, Franklin, what kind of music do you like? And he goes, the Godfather of Soul, James Brown. And he holds up like an album of James Brown. And he looks at Charlie and he goes, are you all related? You guys related? And he goes, I don't think so. I don't think so. (laughs) It was so cute. And then... He at Charlie Brown asks uh, Franklin what he wants to be when he grows up. And he said, you know, I sort of want to be a, a like, I love the stars. And I think I might want to be like an astronaut, like Neil Armstrong. And, uh, and, and uh, Franklin Armstrong, it's Franklin, his name, and then, Franklin Armstrong. And, and then uh, Charlie Brown goes, are you related? And he goes, good with Charlie Brown. <laughs> it's really, it's very um, tender. It's very sweet. It's a great story of like, not faking and being who you are and being true to who you are. And that's yes, because friends they, can they get, fight and get mad at one another. Friends can they get do. mad at each other and they can make up in the end. Uh huh. Um, and sometimes we, if Charlie Brown was learning to let go of control and so was Franklin, right? That they could they not, had to, they had to trust each other. Mm-hmm. But that's what friendship is. And, and, and at and, the um, end, they all eat ice cream, pizza, pizza, pizza party. The ice cream truck is what is what yeah. exploded. Yes. Yeah. Um, P.S. Can't stand Lucy. Never could. Never will. I mean, she's a jerk. Sorry, sorry, sorry about she, your luck, Dad. She's sorry. She serves the poor purpose. I mean, she does get redeemed because she does, even though she really doesn't win the race. She does. She does. But <laughs> she, she won't let go of the she's trophy. Pulling on the trophy and Schroeder yeah. is like. She's like, it's my trophy. Yeah, that's funny. I have a soft spot in my heart for Lucy because I was Lucy. Yes, in a you were Lucy in the musical. community theater. I remember that. Um, I didn't get so to see that because I wasn't you home. Didn't because you were in Cancun. I know. Um, oh, I'm glad I went. I'm glad I went. <laughs> you should have gone to Cancun instead of watching that. <laughs> the musical was sweet, and I had a great time with my friends. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I have a sweet spot in my heart for for Lucy, even though she I, is a turd. I wonder if this will be on regular TV. You know, at any point. I don't think so. Um, I know, which is a bummer. It um, doesn't have the same nostalgia as, and they they make fun of stuff no, but in I mean, it, like the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Like, what the heck? Not only that, Franklin says something about the town he's moving into not having a whole lot of. I can't remember the exact wording. It's like lack of variety. Yeah, there's That's a lot of said. lack of variety in this town, which is basically code for there's not many people of color here. No, it's just a bunch of white people. Yeah, yeah. which was funny because I didn't yeah, even just, I didn't yeah, notice. But this came out during Black History Month. Mm-hmm. It was Very released. Cool. And um, this should be shown on regular TV because I don't think enough people have Apple. Apple Plus. Yeah. So I don't know. It was it was very tender. It was enjoyable. Um, I would, it was sweeter than I thought it was going to be. I thought I was going to be like, I watched it, Dad. Listen, this, actually, was, this is better. I actually enjoyed it. it. I, so... I think I, we talked about this before. This and enjoy it too. Yes, your mom and I rewatched the Charlie Brown Christmas special over Christmas, and I was like, "This, this is terrible. They're so mean to him. They're mean to Charlie Brown. I mean, if I was Charlie Brown, I'd, I'd just get up and move. I would. I'd be out and forget you all. Yeah, but and we get Snoopy too. Snoopy's eccentric in this as well, along with the uh, Woodstock. So yep, the yeah. Snoopy stuff, the Woodstock having just sorry, my thing died. It's okay. The Woodstock what? I'm sorry. My Facebook is talking to me still. That's sorry. hilarious. That was funny. Mm-hmm. Um, what was I going to say? The the Woodstock having lines every time he moves. Oh, yeah. Like in the cartoon. Like in the hysterical. comic strip. Yeah. Hysterical. All right. But well, I really enjoyed it. I'd give it, um, yeah, five stars. I, I really do. As a kid's special... Um, I just don't know if kids like that stuff anymore. Well, maybe I, I have opinions about that as a psychologist. Um, perhaps let's not make our children be overstimulated so that they enjoy things like that. Oh, gosh, snap. You said it. 
Love Hannah. Love Hannah. But this is coming from a person that has no children. Um, no. Okay. Just, a, just some letters behind my name. I got you. I like those letters. I do. PDQ. I'm proud of them. All right. Well, we also read. Yeah. Um, the book Eve, it Eve is a comic Boom book Studios. series from Boom Studios. Mm -hmm. There are five issues. Um, this um, wild story is about a young girl who is raised in a virtual reality. And she embarks on a deadly cross-country quest to save her father and our dying planet. Did you read that from something or did you I did. just know that? No, it's about the book. I read it. I was going to say, dang, that was impressive. <laughs> the cool thing about this is that the author wrote this when he and his wife had a little girl because he was mm -hmm. concerned about the climate change, climate change and everything. Mm -hmm. And um, so, and which is funny because Hannah and I didn't even plan this. This the main character and this is a young uh, uh, black girl. Yeah. Who's, I just read it because I'd been wanting to read it, and it I was know. one of the shorter ones that it we was had, one of my, and one we were of supposed my, to talk about it like three weeks ago. It was one of my favorites um, when the year it came out. Yeah. <clears throat> it is very... The story is good. Yeah. The story is good. I thought that it was going to be... I don't, I don't know what... I knew it was going to be good. I didn't think it was going to be bad. I thought it could, it could have jumped to... Chevy with message, which okay. it was not. No, it was not Chevy with message. Um, again, because he wrote it thinking about his daughter and climate change. Right. Um, the the bear robot. So helper this this child is, is this child is probably ten nine. I don't know how old she is. But anyway, she is yeah, accompanied by early a, early yeah ten eleven. Yeah, because once you get to be teenager, your the chemicals and the funk in the air can mm -hmm. turn you into like gets, almost yeah. like one of those creatures from um, that it turns uh, you into like a zombie, like in the Will Smith movie, which yeah, is a like remake a of the Omega Men. I can't remember what it was called. I am Legend. Um, I am Legend. Yeah, something like that. For, yeah, zombie. Which is right. the zombie. Okay, zombie. Which is a specific whatever. type of zombie. So she is accompanied by a. Teddy Ruxpin looking teddy bear. You guys, you don't know who that is, but anyway, With the giant bow and mismatched this, this eyeballs. Teddy bear is really a robot, and um, he's got ulterior motives as well. Mm -hmm. So, I, I can we spoil it? Yeah, sure. He um, doesn't. He doesn't believe that mankind deserves a second chance. Yeah, he thinks that that she should fail and is attempting to make her fail slash will kill her. Yeah, but you <laughs> don't. Yeah, but you know, it's you it's again later. it's the matrix. So Yeah. Um, um so we follow her. Go ahead, go ahead, Hannah. No, yeah, we follow her. Does she does she how far does she go? Does she go from like New York to California? She goes wherever this uh seed vault is, which I thought was in the I don't know where it was. But I there's don't a either. that was a confusing bit. There's a seed vault that is now underwater. And she was, I didn't, did you catch this? Did you catch that? She that? was the only one that the, yeah. had been. She is not the first Eve. She's the last. She's the last Eve, which is funny because Eve is the first female in mm -hmm. the Bible, but she's the last, I think like six or seven. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. But she was the only one who in her virtual reality was raised around water. Which is silly. If this is a climate mm. change thing. You should know they'd all be around like, water. Wouldn't it all be water? But I, I guess that makes sense because maybe it was ice, like day Who after knows? tomorrow. Maybe it yeah. was something else. We don't know. Yeah, right. I'm not. No, we don't. I don't have a crystal ball. Yeah. So it has a good ending. Mm -hmm. uh, there is it a, works the mangrove trees. There is a second series out. Really, with the same Eve, thing. The Children of the Moon. Interesting. So I have it. Cool. Is it just as good? Yeah, it was really good. Really enjoyed it. I liked the um, art. I think the art was beautiful. The The character painting was stunning. Like all of the different characters that you encounter was stunning. Um, there was character growth in Eve and in the teddy bear robot guy. Mm -hmm. The twist was twisty. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, it was a little twisty. I saw some of it coming. Yeah, I mean, if she's been in animation, you it's just been like you didn't. I won't say that. So, but yeah. anyway, it's yeah. been. It was twisty. The twist it was, was twisty. It was a, a little, little twisty. Little. A little um, twisty, twisty. I like the fact that uh, her she has a sister who's really just her. It's her, uh huh. Older. older her, older version of her. Older her. Who had? I like that he. I like that wisdom, she braided her hair. Stopped. Yes. She's kept started losing. She kept from Which eating is and spooky. She basically stopped the onset of puberty uh-huh. because she didn't want to turn into one of the creatures. So by not by eating, starving herself, essentially exercising type the way that she should. Yeah. So basically, she kept herself from yeah starting to to have the change of life as a, as a young lady. So, but that was pretty smart actually. Mm. Um, yeah. So this, this would make a good show. I think it would be a good TV show. How they make TV shows now. I'm worried that they would just add some weird stuff to it. Yeah. I get that. Well, they'd you have know? to change it a little bit. I mean, yeah, change it a little bit. Oh, and make it five episodes and then be done. Yeah. This is a side. Okay. I started watching the first episode of Avatar. First episode of the Did live action like Avatar. I like the beginning of it. I haven't gotten too far, but a lot of cartoon people are hating no on cartoon? it. The the live action. Okay. Um, a lot of people are hating on it. Um, they've changed a lot of stuff in it. One of the something that I heard that people were really angry about was they changed Zuko's. Is it Zuko? No, Prince Zuko. Uh, her brother. What's her brother's name? I don't know. I don't know anything about it. Okay, you're right. Avatar the Last Airbender cast. Uh, Soka. I don't know. But they changed Soka, and he was like he was supposed to. <laughs> we'll have to we'll have... He was supposed to be this like turd, this like uh-huh. sexist turd. Who was like mean and thought boys were better and like all of this stuff. And a big part of his growth through the seasons is changing, is learning that there is strength in femininity, that there is strength in. But they just like, totally women, bypassed all and that. And they just are like, no, he's great from the beginning. Well, um, honestly, I don't know that they could get away with that. Uh, yeah. Which I think, I think that's part of why they didn't do that. But that man, like, that would, that could be a beautiful story for people to hear. That, yeah, like, I that, get that you can learn but, and that you can change your opinion and that, yeah, I don't, there was, there's this, there's an episode in the first season where there's have you watched women it? warriors. I watched the first, I've watched the, yeah, I've watched the first couple seasons of the animated. Okay. I have not seen any of um, it. Yeah. I, I told you that, where's my cabbage, my cabbages, that I guy. Know. It's hysterical. Yeah. Um. What was I saying? Oh, there's this episode in the first season where there are these women warriors who like fight with fans and he oh, thinks that's cool. that they're, yeah, he thinks that they're such like losers and then they rescue him and they save his friends. And then that's like part of that journey for him. And he right. even like, I think later on, like learns their fighting style or whatever. Um, so people are mad about that. People are mad about like some like stuff about Aang. And how he apparently can just fly without a glider. Like he can just do whatever the heck he wants. That he's he was flying he, in the, when I first saw him. He's first he interested. Cannot, in the TV show, he cannot fly without a glider. Okay. And so that, so that his air power is, is OP, um, which is not good. Um, and some stuff with um, Katara as well. Well, I'm going to try to watch know. it. Uh, and from somebody who doesn't have a dog in the fight, I may enjoy yeah. it. Sort of like you yeah. and Foundation. That's what I'm saying. I love Foundation. And I honestly, like, there are people that are like, this is their fandom. Yeah. We'll like have to Avatar, ask Hector when he's at the house. Like Avatar The Last Airbender are, is someone's like, are there, it's people's hardcore fandom. Yeah. I get that, that is not where I live. But, I mean, just be thankful that you live in a time when they can make a live action and nowadays, people aren't thankful. I mean, I lived how many years without any superhero movies, and now, now they're not very good. Hey, but I still get them. They, I still get them. You know, I'm I just glad, hope that I'm the on Fantastic Four movies. I, it needs to be good, crap. Dad. They've been they've been garbage. 
and I'm holding out hope for you for this one that it's going to be Me good. Too. And I want to sit next to you or around you when you watch it. We'll have to have a big group. We'll have to have a big group. All right. That's all I got. Okay. That's all I got. Cool. So guys, read Eve. Yeah. Uh, five honestly. issues. It's a good read. And you could probably download If I have Hoopla. You could download it for free. Woo. Um, and it's out in a trade. So, or, you know, support your local comic book shop. LCS, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hannah, hey, friends. Thanks for hanging you know out with what? us. Before you say anything. Yeah. I haven't done anything with YouTube. Okay, I'm not going to mention I've been it. so crazy busy. Um, you're so fine. I have too. Um, I hey, friends, thanks for hanging out with us. Um, our intro music was created and composed and performed. Created and composed are the same thing. Was composed and performed by Brockwell Nason. You should check him out on the Instagram um, slash wherever you stream music. Um, check him out at Brockwell Nason. Um, he's got a bunch of stuff out and performs in Nashville often if you're ever in the air at Nashville, greater Nashville area. Um, our pin or pins, LOL. We have pins we of have our pins. logo art. I created um, them. That's something I did do. Woo, woo, woo. Um, and that art was made by Nate, um, my dear sweet brother. Thank you for doing that for us, bud. Um, and he I did say if we ever upload. sold them that he would want to cut. LOL. He ain't getting no cut. <laughs> um, I edit and upload our podcast. Yay. And I will eventually put some on YouTube. Okay. I'm not worried about it. I will. Okay. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us um, next week. Um, I don't know when this will get uploaded, but if you're listening to us now pod. or you listen to con. us, uh, it's, it's the con. con. So come and Lexington. see us at the Lexington con. Toy and Comic Con. <laughs> Toy and Comic Convention. There you go. Until then, we will catch you, catch on, you the on the flippity flop. flop. Bye, Bye guys. Friend. We got that right this time. And our show we did. Streaming friends, thanks for hanging with us too. Bye. Bye-bye.